Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are staying safe and warm out there with the winter storm coming through. I think there's a second phase coming out of my area Wednesday, Thursday. -ish. So, just stay safe out there, guys. Just stay safe. You know, first it was COVID. Now we still got COVID going on to storms and everything else out there. But before I start this video, I want to say thank you to everybody for your support to the channel, to the videos, uh, watching them, commenting, liking sharing them uh telling everybody about them and stuff like that there and if you're new or you've been watching and you're not subscribed yet that subscribe button's right down there to hit it uh there will be a 3000 card giveaway or 3000 <laughs> 3000 subscriber giveaway which is a hobby box it's been ordered today should be here wednesday pending weather uh so as soon as that comes in i'll get that video out to everybody we're working towards that 4000 now uh, we're climbing probably about 50 new subscribers a day, which is really, really good. So again, thank you, everybody. But let's get back to the video at hand here. I had a video come out about a week ago talking about market manipulation. And, you know, a lot of people understand it now a lot better. And some people already did understand it. So I want to touch some onto this because... There's going to be a lot more talk of this coming up, and I'm not too sure how many people have already been paying attention to this or not. First off, you got a bunch of grading companies out there. PSA, Beckett, SGC, those are the three most known. Then you got GMA, which everybody knows. I am not a fan of GMA. I call them the garbage man authentication. And due to the fact that they hold no value out there. I mean, you're just giving somebody money because they don't have, they have a quick turnaround and they're just not there at all. I'd rather wait and get my money, but that's just me personally. That's my opinion. Other people might like GMA. Uh, you also got a bunch of other guys that are coming out. Now, the one, uh, was it CGC or CGS? One or two. One of them is the good one. It's the one that grades comic books and stuff like that. I might give them a shot because they have a good reputation on other ends. But you also got HGA. So if anybody hasn't heard of HGA grading, they're brand new. They take about 1,200 cards every Friday, I believe he opens it up. Fills up pretty quick. To do a 10-day turnaround, I believe it was $55, and I don't remember what the 30-day was, probably 30 bucks. Really pretty high price, to be honest. But HGA does a computer scan grading of the card. Supposedly, there is a human afterwards that double-checks that. I, I, I don't know. I... Just going off of what I've read and seen, so I do not know what is true and false on that whole statement. Just to put that out there. Now, the difference with HGA, they look like a PSA case, but their label looks like Becca. They give you subgrades. They also match the label to the jersey of the player on there. Now, granted, they've had some hiccups already to where they've put wrong players on there and everything else, calling... Uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Patrick Mahomes and stuff. But, you know, I don't know how many people he has working doing it. That could be a lot of volume, and, you know, things will happen. Trust me, they happen other places, too, and they slip through. But let's talk about price range of, an, of HGA versus PSA, for example. So this is where the market manipulation is going to be starting to really be talked about the most, and you'll probably start seeing people talking about it, maybe doing videos on it. I have no idea. But I want to give you guys this information up hand. So this is going to be my thoughts again purely onto this. Nothing's fact. Well, some little bit's fact. I'll show you, though. All right, there it is. Boom. All right. I did blow this up so it does look a little funky, just so you guys can see it a little bit better onto the screen. Now, if you notice, this is 2020 Top Series 2, Blue Bob or Luis Robert. This is his rookie card. Now, if you look up on top here, HGA 9.5 sold for $201.25. Look below this. Here's top, or tops. Here's PSA 153, 142, 122, 107, SGC 9.5, 25 bucks. It just gives you an idea. I don't think there was a... Oh, there's a Beckett. I, don't, I thought I saw a Beckett on here. Four, 40 bucks for a 9.5. So how is HGA getting $201? You know, I started thinking about this, and I've noticed a couple different ones like this to where their 9.5s are selling higher than PSA 10s. Well, we're going to go in and look at this, though. 
Boom. So, seller, low feedback. You know, no, nothing wrong with that. From Pittsburgh, home of the Steelers and Penguins. I know he didn't do anything wrong. I looked at this stuff already. So I went through and started looking. You know, you see this 97 feedback, but he didn't really start it till really right about here. So if you look at that time, a couple days out. So we'll take a pop. I didn't really look at this dude that much. He only bids on 4% of his stuff. With a guy at this low of feedback, eh. But you look at his feedback, so 94.5. Eh. I mean, I, I went through these trying to really determine it, you know, onto this. Were these really legit bids onto this stuff? This guy hardly ever bid on anything. This guy's first time stuff, 99.9. Let's take a look at the top dude here. 16%, six total bids, items bid on six. He's probably trying to get a stack off of them. A lot of people do that. Uh, where's that price jump? Oh, here it is. 57 to 100. Let's take a look. Yeah, nothing really. Well, this dude has a lot of bid retractions, I'll tell you that. But, you know, by look at this, I would not say it was really shield bid. You know, to a pack to where you're really going to be able to detect something onto it. Now, I'm not saying this is not a group of four or five guys out there that are going out to try to push HGA up because they've been in line for this stuff and they're getting, you know, 50, 100 cards every week out to them. Could be. I, I don't know. You know I'm really going to be watching this stuff just to take a look at it and see where this is going to be going overall. Because it really makes you wonder. This is not a consignment person selling this. You know, the bids look pretty pretty much normal to me offhand. I mean, there was a guy bidding with some retractions on there and stuff. But for the most part, look pretty much, I'd say probably I'd probably go 90% legit people buying onto it. Some people always want to make their stuff higher because they got the same exact card. But this here... I'm sure the pop is not real high, being that they're brand new. So, I don't know. But I don't see how a new grading company is selling, I don't know, what is that, about 50, almost 40, 35, 40% markup from a PSA 10? I, I'm in shock by it. And if anybody's got any kind of uh, explanations or theories out there, please put them in the comments section because I'm just trying to really look at this. And I got a few things I look at every day. And this is just one of the ones that's been coming across and somebody brought this up to me. There was a couple other cards that I noticed as well too, but I'm using this one here for the example. And I, I don't see anything funny really going on unless, like I said, it's me and a group of my buddies. All like, let's get an HGA now. All right, as soon as it comes out, everybody start bidding on this stuff. Because when you really think about it, HGA is not going to be doing the volume of anybody else. Does that make it more rare? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it because, to me, in order to get my money, you got to show me something. Because I went through this with SGC, and their customer service was poor, 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 poor. Um, that's why I no longer do them, and I know a lot of other people no longer do them. Becca just raised prices. Uh, we covered that a little while ago, and it's to the point to where a lot of people won't be using Beckett at all anymore because the prices are just too high. PSA, yep, yeah, they got some lag time in there, but they're still PSA, you know, and I do favor PSA now more than anybody else. I used to say PSA and Beckett to me run neck to neck because it depends on the card, the autograph, and who I'm going to send it to for the better overall grade. Is that wrong? Probably. But to me, I want that card to be graded the best I can so that, you know, you can maximize your return onto it. That's a flipper standpoint. Now, as a collector, I'm going to be using my old thing is I'm not going to buy the grade. I'm going to buy the card. But I am also paying for the grade that's on that card. So kind of makes sense with some of the stuff I've been talking about. Without going into like a 20-minute video onto that. Um, but that, that's, like I said, basically my opinion onto it. 
But I'm more curious what everybody else thinks here because I, I don't think this is shill bitted. I don't know. It could be a group of people because people have cornered markets before to raise them up. No joke. But you will start hearing about this if you have not already. And people are going to throw out the term shill bidding. We pretty much eliminated off of this guy. He it probably was not shill bidded. But it could have been manipulated the price. And if it was, is it a group of people? Is it just two or three maybe out there? Are they working together because they're putting everything they got into HGA and trying to make them the newest company? Could be. I, I don't know. Until uh, there's more facts that are proven out there that shows this, you really can't tell. You would basically have to use this feedback representative here and try to trace it to every single one because this front code changes all the time. And I showed this before between items bid on. This only shows it for this one item. This guy could have went in there and bid on four of his items then in that night. And it's all going to have different numbers up here or letters with the asterisks, and this will still be the same. That's how you usually can start pinpointing people onto it. Then you open it up, and all the same stat numbers are there. So that's how you can usually tell it's the same person. But, yeah, please, guys, I'm just curious out there. What do you guys think offhand? I mean, are people going to start bouncing the HGA and try to make it top, you know, one of the top, in the top three, I guess, take over SGC at least? And if they are... Is HGA going to start allowing more than 1,200 cards a week? You know, it's things you got to look at. It's a nice looking car, a nice looking label and everything. I know a couple people got stuff graded. They were happy with it. I, I just don't want to buy into new hype where something's already had a standard out there to where you know the issues of the company, both past, present, and probably what they're going to get into in the future. It's all there. Whether there were scandals, scams, whatever may have went on. But over thick and thin, you know, the company's been there for a long time, and they've had to deal with all that stuff. And HGA and everybody else has got to deal with the same issues that the bigger companies have to deal with eventually. But yeah, please let me know what you guys think. I'm just kind of curious. I'm thinking that there's probably going to be some type of market manipulation onto this myself. Again, my own personal opinion. And that's due to the fact that there's only so many allowed graded per... Or so many allowed to be submitted per week, and I believe the number was 1,200. I could be wrong, um, but that's why I wrote down a couple people saying, because I've just never really gone on and really played around with their website and built an account and all that. But if that's true, I could see then maybe, maybe values do go up, but I just don't see them going above. Like I showed you what an SGC sold for, a, a, B, a Beckett 9.5 and a PSA 10. These are this hair is blowing it out of the water completely. All right, everybody, appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll be looking through the comments, replying back. As always, thank you. I'll have that video out here sometime this week on the giveaway for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, it's a really nice box, I'll tell you that. Really nice box. Um, and I, I really had to think about which way I wanted to go with it, but I wanted somebody to get at least a guaranteed auto. And with that, they have a chance to pull a good auto because of how many autos are in a checklist, if that makes sense. But other than that, everybody, take care. Have a good week. I will see you guys with the next video.